That's good. Mm. I'm just gonna season it with a little salt or whatever, no carb seasoning if you want, or just eat it like this. Look how thin that is. Oh my gosh. One ingredient keto potato chip. Oh yeah, okay. So we saved this from forever ago. Hopefully it's not stale. It's just the cheese powder that came with the macaroni and cheese. We used it a long time ago to make some flavored cheese puffs that were keto. So now we're gonna put a little bit in here and hopefully it's amazing. All right, I got a half a teaspoon. Oh my gosh, it smells good. Please just sprinkle. I want it to sprinkle, there we go. And then we'll shake the bag once we get it all in there. Oh my gosh, we're going to have cheesy jalapeno potato chips that are basically like one ingredient other than the seasoning. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. All right, all right, we have our official taste tester. Go ahead and get you whichever one you'd like out of there. Some are a little crispy that and dark, just like... Pretty good. Yeah, how's it smell? Cheesy. Like cheesy jalapeno? <laughs> mm hmm Okay, let's have a crisp test and a taste test. Perfectly crispy. Just like a potato mm. chip? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Very tasty. Pretty good? Very tasty. Oh, yeah. So, would you say you can taste the cheddar jalapeno with mm -hmm. a half a teaspoon in there? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Any more would probably be... Too much? A little too much. I, I think to, it's perfect, right like that. I need to try one. Mm. I need to try one. I've tried one already. Good snack. Right? Oh my gosh. Okay. So, if you want to make these, and you don't want to have to spend like 8 or $10 on a jar of seasoning, I'm telling you, if you're okay wasting, or you could give it away, buy you a box of the Chester's Cheeto uh, macaroni cheese mix that you make and it comes with the powder packet that's what that is and then just don't use the macaroni and cheese or give it to somebody who uses macaroni and cheese because then you've got your seasoning pack you could have flaming hot or cheddar jalapeno or just cheese yeah yeah definitely make more mm -hmm. it literally took about seven minutes in the microwave oh the cow nice so it all melts together into one sheet, let it cool for just a few seconds, and then we will break that apart and make more chips. All right, Mitch is gonna break it up for us in chip-sized pieces. You don't need to do it in perfect. Just break it up, that's a ginormous piece. There you go, and then just drop them in there. They don't have to be super small because only one person's eating them. You, well, you and me, but yeah. I mean, you can break them in half if you want. They break pretty like easy. That big. Yeah, however you want to do it. And then just put them in that same bag because we still have seasoning. You probably could have got away with a quarter, uh, a quarter teaspoon. teaspoon. You can just leave them on here and then just dump them all at once. That works. It literally cooled in about 10 seconds, enough that you could oh, yeah. snap them. Okay. And they do taste good plain. You could add salt if you wanted. All right, so then you just mix it. These are so good, guys. They're amazing. Hopefully you try this. Comment below if you try it and if you what seasoning you guys use. I'm thinking you could use any kind of seasoning in your cupboard, like red, uh, what is that, Chip cayenne pepper, you can, if you like hot. Uh, I just had a good idea, ramen noodle seasoning. Oh yeah, like chicken flavored, oh yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, well, thanks so much for watching, and we will see you in our next video.